the Victorian Eco Innovation Lab, which you've heard about and which uh, is partly the uh, initiator of this evening, is one way of addressing the critical issue which we all face, which is that business as, future is, business as usual is not a future option. And we're talking in a context in which that we, if we use the terms that even the, the Business Council of Australia were using in this last week, which is that we are facing an industrial revolution as significant as any other in, the, in our history, then the interest is how do we stimulate innovation, um, not just technological innovation, but social innovation? How do we stimulate change? And the Victorian Eco Innovation Lab addresses that with one way of doing this, which is to focus on the uh, Next one. No, next one. <laughs> is to focus on uh, the vision of where we could be. And the idea is that we are trying to change people's perceptions of what a sustainable future could look like. And this is in partnership with the universities in Victoria, currently Monash, RMIT and Melbourne University, but later in this year to widen out to the other universities. And what we're adding into the mix of, of, of bringing university knowledge into this area is that we're very strongly focused on the design schools in those universities, on architecture, urban design, landscape on one hand, and industrial design and engineering on the other, to bring those skills into the visions of how we might proceed and to identify change which is vision driven. You can go to our website, it's on the back of this card, and follow the first project, Melbourne 2032, which was done after bringing 45 people together across the whole of the Victorian government, a whole series of researchers in, in key areas from universities and 10 designers to use the work that they, that the ideas that they had around a framework we produced for Melbourne in 25 years time and to develop glimpses of what that might be like. And we are now working from those glimpses out into a series of projects and you can track them on our website. A lot less than three minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, no, uh, well, yes, go on. Yes, finish. No, finish. Um, because I'm now going to change my hat and uh, talk a bit about this event. Um, the idea was that uh, we have begun to detect through the, the nature of the kind of projects and interests that you've heard here um, that we have a great opportunity in this city if we build on it in a collaborative way, build on skills which as Peter Davison said, uh, here within the city, I think it's true, also evident from Arup, much of that skill for the moment focused in, in uh, solving problems outside of, uh, of Australia. We have organisations like that at RMIT, which is linking cities across the world to collaborate in terms of knowledge. We have uh, amazing organisations here in terms of ICLEI, which shows the extraordinary interest and the propensity in this country down at local government level to actually make change. And I think it's important that Wayne focused on the outcomes of that because it's not just the number of cities uh, in Australia that are actively involved in this, but the nature of the outcomes. We have wonderful design thinking and fantastic research opportunities here in this city. And the aim is to link those together in a way which brings us forward into something that is more than the sum of the parts and which happens through collaboration. And the website, as Fern has suggested, is one way of doing that. It's a way of exposing things. It's a way of communicating and a way of showing and linking what actually exists. But we thought we had to move beyond virtual space and to do something like this. And uh, the, the idea of the three minute uh, trial, the egg timer um, stricture, was one way to be able to uh, show you quickly the nature of the work that's going on from people in the room and then to be able to give over time to, be able to allow you to network, to uh, talk between yourselves and, between and to the people in those different projects. And we would like to do this kind of event um, uh, regularly. We're not quite sure of what regularly should mean. So I need to draw your attention to the fact that on your seat, um, on the side that doesn't have the, uh, the coloured stickies um, are some questions which we would like you to um, address for us. Will, will you, do you think this meeting like this and these kind of events are worthwhile? What would seem to be a reasonable frequency of doing that? 
if we do it in this three minutes, is this about right, the number of, of speakers? Or would you like to see more or less? And what kind of activities, can you give us an idea just in categories, what kind of projects and activities and what kind of balance uh, would you like to see in things that are presented? Okay, we haven't got to that yet. Oh, I'm sorry, yes, we have. Yes, of course. If anybody needs a pen, yes. Um, on the other side of the feedback form is a, some questions about trying to identify projects that you might know of uh, that, we, that you think should be brought together or exposed either through the website or at occasions such as this. And how do you think that uh, sustainablemelbourne.com, a loose collaboration of people focused around a website which is a collaborative website, um, what, do you, what do you think are the most important things? Uh, networking and communication, promotion and showcasing initiatives, information as a database, matchmaking as, as Fern has called it, um, and try and give us some priorities there. Or any others that you think. Now, you've also got some stickies. And um, while we turn our attention to another thing which is looming on the horizon, which we think uh, is a very important possibility for what we might do around this city, you have two stickies. On the green sticky, we're interested in you writing um, any kind of project that you think you would like to see happen around this city which would lead us towards sustainability. And uh, so a great opportunity for you to, uh, what we would like you to do is, is blue sky thinking, what kind of things would you love to see happening around Melbourne that is not currently happening uh, that you think would be a fantastic project uh, to, uh, to move us towards sustainability uh, in, the, in the broader sense of sustainability that has been emphasised by all the speakers. What do you think is missing? What would you like to see? You have uh, two green stickers, so you have two ideas. And uh, over on the wall, uh, but behind um, Dai uh, Moy over there, is uh, um, some white pieces of paper. And when you go to collect another drink and to the talk, we would like you to put the green things on the idea sheets. And we will make sure all of those ideas are collated and go out on the website um, over the next few days. On the pink sheets, um, there is an opportunity to move towards uh, what um, Fern has kept calling matchmaking. But what kind of connections do you feel you would like to have that you don't currently have? Uh, this is a kind of seeking opportunity. What if, uh, are, are there linkages um, to people or projects or expertise that you don't have that you think would be, you would really like to have? And then what we uh, give you, uh, what we will do our best is to try to find the kind of things that you are seeking and make sure that they're on our website. So if you come regularly to the website, anything that goes up on the pink cities here will become uh, something that we will set up uh, to set out to find and to showcase on the website. And if we can't, uh, then we might be coming back to you to help us identify where those things exist. So that's a bit of the um, of trying to enhance the, the networking and communication. 